Oh. Morning all. Right, in this video, we're gonna see how quickly we can pull this caravan with a bicycle. Okay, we're off. Ah. Man, that's hard. Mark Bowman is perhaps best known for his epic feats of cycling ultra endurance, most notably cycling around the world in just 78 days. But today he'll be taking on the heaviest and shortest of his bike packing adventures to date, the fastest speed on a bike ever, while pulling a 700 kilo caravan. To have the honour of clinching this unprecedented Guinness World Record, Mark must hit 25 miles an hour, or 40 kilometres an hour, which is pretty fast even without a caravan in tow. His speed will be measured between two points that are 25 metres apart, with his average speed taken from both directions. Let's see how Mark gets on. I've just arrived in Birmingham at the NEC, and um, well, I don't have my Lycra on yet because uh, I got told that whatever I'm doing today was serious business. So uh, I thought I'd at least turn up in my suit. But um, I was also told that um, it was something that would take a man of my skill set. I don't quite know what that means. Um, I'm excited. It's my first uh, solo mission for GCN, so uh, I better not mess it up. We've managed to uh, attach a road bike to a caravan, which uh, is a first for me. But, um, well, after having the technical issue of not actually being able to um, attach it through the rear axle, we fixed that, that's taken the last hour and a half. We hadn't thought that it's gonna be hard to actually support the downward weight of the caravan on the front. We knew the downward weight was about 30 kilos, so I thought, well that's about the same as how putting like a, a kid on the back of your bike and giving them a, a backy down the road. But we've got two pivot points, so it doesn't actually support the weight at all. And when this jockey wheel goes down, the front of the caravan just hits the road. So the only way we can test this is by leaving the jockey wheel down. <laughs> of all the stupid things. That's all right. It's moving. <laughs> wow. Am I going uphill? This feels like it's uphill. A little bit. <laughs> it feels like it's about five miles an hour. I meant to go about 20. So this looks flat. It is not flat. One of the criteria is it's got to be an exactly flat road. It'd be interesting to turn it around and go down. Yeah. have a go downhill. That is a problem. I did not see that coming. Well, the first attempt at um, towing the caravan with the bicycle was uh, an absolute disaster. First of all, struggled to even get it going. But then when I did, um, the weight of the caravan ripped the back wheel off the QR. So the, the quick release because all the weight was going through that one point. So, gone back to the drawing board completely and um, I'm heading off to meet a welder who I've been recommended, who's uh, also a keen bike rider. Never met him before. And the idea is to try and uh, attach the caravan directly to the frame of the bicycle. Right, the, the bike that Mark's going to be using in his challenge is an Orbea and it's just arrived five minutes ago. Right, we've got the, the Orbea up on this, uh, the turbo trainer. I've taken the back end of the turbo trainer off. Right, just another little update. I've uh, bent the bar and I've put old track tape on the top to help protect the frame a little. So, 
get this one and see how it fits. So this is what I've done so far. I've just finished welding and grinding um, and I'm going to do a trial fit to see if it's distorted by the heat of the welding. So this is what I've got so far. I've put some Right, so I've finally finished the frame um, and I'm going to get it ready for painting now. So this is what I've done. Right, I'm going to paint the frame matte black to match the, the ordeal and bike. Well, we've turned up early doors at uh, a pretty secret testing centre somewhere in the middle of England. You can probably just hear like the, the cars and motorbikes on the test track uh, over in that direction, but we're not even allowed to point the cameras over there. We're allowed this strip, it's 1.7 kilometres, it's as flat as it gets, apparently it just perfectly follows the curvature of the earth, that's good enough for me. Um, but let's face it, the test run, the trial run was a disaster. That is a problem. I mean, um, I'm trying to find the positives from it. We kind of ran, ran over a bike, but apart from that, um, I ha we had to go back to the drawing board in terms of the mechanism to attach the bike to the caravan. I learned that having 700 kilos thundering along behind me is quite hard to slow down. So the idea today is just not to break, but uh, I don't need to fake this. I'm pretty nervous because uh, this is both the, the trial run and the record attempt. The guys are setting up the timing trap right now and uh, hopefully we can get that caravan to world record pace with a push bike. It looks strong. I think in order of strength, this amazing bit of welding is by far the strongest. Next, the bike, pretty strong, but you know, this is, welded steel and then the the weakest of the three component parts here i think is me <laughs> so if anything breaks um it's going to be me then the bike then this 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 bit of um towing mechanism is awesome um i was just checking that all the welds were strong and it was uh you know i hadn't slipped it was not doing any damage to the bike or we're looking good I need like an old fashioned speedos. It's so light at the front. Whoa. Relax. Relax, 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 relax. Relax, 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 relax. <laughs> I, I, I can't even get going at the moment because there's literally no weight on the front of the bike. So, as soon as I start pulling off, uh, the front bike, the front of the bike just feels like it's gonna completely skit out, starts to snake straight away. So that balance point is, is kind of wrong at the moment. I was hoping to be able to ride with the jockey wheel up a little bit. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get more weight on the front of the bike. Okay, let's try that. Now we've got a complete loss of traction. Okay, that jockey wheel needs to go back down a little bit because look, that's my problem. Relax. Relax. Okay, we're off. Relax, 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 relax. Okay. Man, that's hard. First run. I mean, I, um, question again whether this is possible. It's okay to get going, but then 
you can just feel the weight. I mean, it's silly to say, but that's 700 kilos, and I'm probably going walking pace there. Guinness World Records have said that they'd like the inaugural record to be more than um, about, uh, I think, 20, 25 miles an hour. But you know what? This has never been done before. All right, let's keep practicing. <laughs> Okay, it's getting easier. Well, I might have only gone five miles an hour so far, but uh, sweating buckets, I think that's the ultimate test of bike handling. <laughs> I've been practicing for about 20 minutes now, and I'm getting better. I'm not sure I'm getting much quicker, but like all these things, it's as much about confidence as technique because the faster you go, if you start to lose it and the caravan starts to snake, I'm not sure I could... Uh... Let's not crash again. Hey, Sai, si, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, all right, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to um, tow a caravan. <laughs> uh, no. I mean, uh, good work, mate. Are you, are you, is this bike packing or...? Um... Yeah, no, it's, it's sort of like, you know, in the last 10 years, that trend towards ultralight, you know, I'm, I've, I've got a bit of an issue with that. So I just thought we'd go the other way and just try and take the full caravan kitchen sink that works. It's, it's just an issue. Well, first of all, I couldn't get any grip through the front wheel at all. And now, I don't know, I've got it to walking pace. Okay. But talk about the tail wagging the dog. This caravan is owning the road and I'm just trying to hold on for dear life. Have you got any tips, mate? Is it a four berth caravan or a two berth? <laughs> I mean, is it a case of like, just keeping the power nice and constant on the bike? Well, the target that's been set is 25 miles an hour, but it's never been done, be it's been never been done before. So I figure if I, if I just set a standard, I mean, I defy any bike rider to do this. <laughs> so you mean you'd get another world record just by turning up? Well, that's... Yeah, oh, you're, you're learning, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, for once, being a big lad, being six foot three, might play to my advantage. Yeah, I'd use that power, mate. Get it out <laughs> nice and evenly, and then uh, and then watch stopping. I would have thought that's probably even sketchier. No brakes. All right. Yeah. Where where would I be without you? Thanks for the wisdom, mate. Eleven miles an hour, man. That's sketchy. So as long as the front wheel sticks, you know, classic. Just trust the front wheel. The back wheel is getting pulled left and right, making a horrible noise across the tar because the caravan is just swinging it. But it's a fine balance between getting the traction to accelerate and just letting the back, back wheel skid out. All right, we've got 25 minutes on the track left. 11 miles an hour. ever worked so hard for like 25 meters which is all the time gap is so mark you've managed 11.93 kilometers an hour with the aid of the wind <laughs> and then amazingly against this wind because it's quite a strong wind you managed to time of nine point uh, sorry a speed of 9.861 kilometers an hour right averaging those two together that gave you a time of 10.477 kilometers per hour. Is that kilometers or miles? That's kilometers an hour. Nice. <laughs> I can show you it in miles an hour if you like miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Click on the miles an That's hour. That's even more upsetting. That's <laughs> 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 6.510 <laughs> 6 miles an hour. I wow. don't think you're going to be towing it on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mark may not have quite hit the 25 miles an hour needed to set the official Guinness World Record for pulling a caravan by bike, but he did set an unofficial top speed. Now we just need to try and find someone else crazy enough to try and beat it. Perhaps with a little bit more training and better weather, Mark could smash it next time. Maybe, just maybe. If you like this bonkers video, give us a thumbs up. Maybe tell us in the comments how quick you think you'd go. Actually scrap that, please don't try this at home. And if you want to see more GCM videos, click on the caravan.